welcome back to the channel everybody today we're going to be on the brighton branch and we're going to be running the templeton local so this local heads out of brighton yard heads south of the town of templeton templeton is the first town we're going to pass through uh, so it's not actually very far but uh, let's pull up the switch list here and take a look at our work today all right so uh we have eight pickups here from track five in brighton yard a few box cars hopper a couple flat cars and two reefers uh, we're going to be about 364 feet long nice and short 365 tons so <laughs> almost exactly a foot or a ton per foot how fancy is that and then uh, once we get to templeton here is our work so we have uh, the coal track uh, we have a few set outs at the tool load uh, the steel track team track and then we have uh, some pickups all over the place actually so uh, once we get to Templeton, we'll talk about where all these different places are, but looks like we're setting out eight and picking up nine. Not bad. So 17 cars we're going to work today. Uh, of course, not counting our caboose. And then once we get back to Brighton, we will be setting them out uh, according to this plan here. So we have six that are going to track three, two on track seven, and one to the ice rack. Not bad. And then uh, that'll be it for today. So let's go ahead and let's get our train built in Brighton Yard. Our yard crew is going to go ahead and pull out here and head over to track five. So from right to left, we have track zero over there in the grass and then one, two, three, four, and five. So we're heading over to track five with that yellow reefer at the head end. We're going to go ahead and pull all of track five here because all of our pickups are in this track and instead of just cherry picking one car at a time we're going to pull the whole cut and then we will head over to our open track track zero and we will start working our cut over there so any cars that are going to take with us we're going to go put on track zero temporarily and any cars that we're not taking we're going to shove them back onto track five our first pickups of the day we do have the uh, Santa Fe boxcar 136255 and the BNLE boxcar. We're going to pick those up, so we're going to go move those onto track zero. But the IHB car in the back is going to stay where he is. Since the Brighton Yard is such a busy yard job, we're not going to actually block this train according to where the cars are going. We're just going to get the train together and get it out of our yard as quick as possible. We're going to go ahead now and come back and grab our caboose and then we'll uh, shove the two reefers and the caboose here on the ladder, pull out our cut from track zero, put our train together and get out of the way so the road crew over there in number 92 can come out and get the train. And now we're getting the yard crew out of the way. Next up, we're gonna pull out 92, connect up, and then go ahead and head out for Templeton.
And now it's time to depart Brighton. We're going to make sure as we leave to stay under 10 miles an hour until we get past the Y. Per the uh, yard limit rules. And we'll make sure to give a uh, friendly whistle to the yard crew as we make our way out. Here's a nice little shot to give you some perspective. We have uh, Brighton Yard there on the left, the uh, engine terminal kind of back in the center background, and then right here on the right side in the foreground is the town of Templeton. When I said it was close, I wasn't kidding. Per the dispatcher's orders, we're going to sit here at the Templeton siding. And uh, once he sends some orders to the station master there, he'll come out and bring it to us, and then we will be free to go ahead and start working our train. Well, now we have the uh, clearance to work the south side of Templeton. So what we're going to do, we're first going to take all three of our boxcars, which are going to the tool track, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get back there through the uh, street running and go back and work the tool tracks. So we have three set outs, boxcars, and we have one boxcar to pick up. Here we are working our way back to the uh, brick industry. So the uh, track for box cars on the right. We have a track for flat cars here in the middle. And then on the left is the track for coal hoppers, which I believe we're going to be working all three of these tracks today with our train. All right. So far, we have moved our suit line box car out of the way, and we've got two of our box cars set out onto the tool track. What we're going to do now is shove our cut back onto the flat track and uh, cut loose right after our first boxcar and then we'll put that last boxcar on the uh, tool track and we will be done working the tool track. All right, so for this next move, we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect back to our flat car and we're gonna go ahead and pull that whole string out and go kind of set them off over here on the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to grab all those hoppers on the coal track and work the flat track here kind of at the same time with just a couple of moves. So uh, stay tuned for some footage and we'll kind of see how we make that play out. All right, we will go ahead and leave the boxcar right here. And now we're gonna pull forward and get back heading toward the flat track.
now we're making our move to grab the three hoppers from the coal track. Keep in mind that the hopper that we're currently shoving back does have to go on this track. So we do have to create a way for uh, it to end up on the back of these cars. The way we're going to do that is by pulling our train back up and leaving these three hoppers with the Sioux Line boxcar. All right, the last thing for us to do here is to put the hopper on the coal track, the flat car on the flat track, and we will be done working the meal for today. All right, so now we are heading up to go grab our two reefers and our caboose. These two reefers go on the team track, which is right behind the station. So we're gonna go pick them up, set them out on the team track and get the caboose off to the side so we can go ahead and complete the runaround of our train and get ready to head back to Bright. All right, so to get all this done in one move, what we're gonna do, we're going to go ahead and connect to the team track. We are supposed to take that flat car and the box car with us. So we're going to uh, have them right here in front of the caboose and we're going to gently shove all three of these. Uh, we're gonna shove them up here and connect them with our hoppers. And then once that shove is done, we will kind of pull back just a little bit so we can make the run around. And then uh, we're also gonna leave these two reefers right here on the team track, the ones that are behind the locomotive because this is where they go. And so, Luckily for us, kind of all in one move, we can make uh, all of our switches here on the team track. All right, so we had a little change of plans. We decided that we would rather go ahead and pick up our three reefers, uh, get those in front of the locomotive, and then we'll go ahead and make our run around. And after that, there actually will not be any more switching moves that we need to do here in Templeton. So luckily for us, the only hoppers we, or sorry, the only reefers we have to take are the three right here in front. Uh, so that makes this switching job nice and easy. Usually it's not always so smooth, but this time it worked out really well for us. So we're gonna just get clear of this first switch and then we will go ahead and push forward, get on the main and do our run around. Those with a keen eye will notice that we have the tender light turned on. In Templeton, we do not have any facilities for turning locomotives. So for this local, once you are finished building your train and you're ready to head back to Brighton, you have to go ahead and switch the light uh, because you're gonna actually be running tender first. Fortunately for us, our conductor has already given us the signal that uh, the train master gave us a good train order. So we're actually ready to go ahead and leave Thompson and head back to Brighton. Well, if you've made us this far, just want to say thank you again for joining and watching. Uh, we uh, very much appreciate it. Thank you for being a part of the channel at DH Trains. Uh, stay tuned for more videos next week. Uh, but hope you, hopefully you enjoy this Friday release. And uh, don't forget to make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thank you all for the activity, for the interest, for the people talking. I appreciate it. 
Uh, and we will see you guys next time.